Uh, my name is David Fertitta. I've been in Beijing for a little over two years now, and I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. I had lived in Korea for a year prior. Felt like there wasn't really much like room to grow and do anything else besides what I was doing there, which was like teaching English to little kids. That was not at all fulfilling. And it was a lot of like running around and chasing little kids. And I had a friend who was in Beijing and she got me a job here. Um, started out I was still teaching little kids, but then like China had more opportunity to do creative things as well as like, um, you know, advance in your job, I guess. And it was just a more interesting place for me to live than like the small city in Korea I was living in. First off, before we start, is there anyone who has not shared a song that wants to share a song? Yeah? All right, come on up. History is more fun. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's AP World History, and it's been a, a long time since I've taken those type of classes, so I have to learn it before I teach it, and that's kind of the most fun part, I think, because you don't want to get caught not knowing something in front of 18-year-olds. That's like the most embarrassing situation. Like, no one can shame you like an 18-year-old, <laughs> so you have to you have to make sure you learn it well before you can teach it. Like, I, I teach 18-year-olds uh, for a living, and, like, if I ask these 18-year-olds, like, what did you do last weekend? Every weekend, they're like, oh, I played iPad. Ooh, I had a rest. Like, God. <laughs> You're the worst person I've ever f***ing talked to. One day, I was actually, like, on a bad date on the hutong, and I was walking through Fangjia Hutong, where the open mic is, and I saw a friend going to that open mic. I was like, are you performing at that? And she said, yeah, and I was like, oh, I gotta see this. That should be interesting. So like, I shoved my date in the car, in a taxi, and then I went back, and I went just to watch, but then I ended up going up, and I've gone basically every Wednesday ever since that I've been in Beijing, so. I'm not like a quite shy person, I don't think. I think my work thinks I'm a, I am. My work thinks I'm really quiet and don't talk to anyone. I don't know, I go out a lot. I, I think I, I DJ as well. I always thought I was funny and I thought my friends thought I was funny, but I don't know if I'm naturally like not like the class clown or anything. I was never that way. I was never, I, not on all the time. You know, a comedian, like when you're on stage, you're on. You're sharp and you're trying to make jokes all the time. I'm not trying to be that most, most of the time. Um, and it's actually, sometimes it's intimidating meeting other comedians, like from other cities or something, when they're like really on off stage and you have to be like, oh, I'm not all the time. I'm not that, that was just, me up there. I don't mean to disappoint you. Stand-up is growing in China, definitely, and I think Chinese people are definitely receptive to it. Uh, like I think some people first come to our shows just to practice start listening, uh, which is kind of funny. And then you'll also get those laughs from people where they're just, they're laughing just because they got it. They're like, oh! I understood that joke. I understood what you did there. And then they'll laugh because of that. And the, the same thing happens when foreigners go to listen to Chinese stand-up, I think. Like, and it, it's, it's a weird phenomenon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy isn't so much like art or like being a good chef. It's, it's like, really it's a tangible thing. Like, do you make people laugh? If you're making people laugh on the regular, you're a good comedian. It's really, really addictive. Like you, and it's, it's great because it's like instant gratification. Like you say it, and there's an instant, like tangible reward. 
no, you can be a good comedian, I can not think you're funny. Um, my sense of humor can be different. But at the end of the day, if you are, whatever you're doing, if it is making people laugh, you're a good comedian. <laughs>